this another one, Marie. We're running out of time. Oh, there she is. I'm sorry I'm late. I couldn't find a parking space. Have you been here long? Since yesterday. <laughs> but it's no problem. The waiter brought us food and, and we slept on the floor. Have you chosen a movie yet? We've been trying. Unfortunately, these guys have seen almost everything. We like the movies. What about the action film, The Last Train to Hong Kong? Where is this train going? Believe me, you'd rather not know. We're going to Hong Kong, aren't we? You'd rather stay here and fight the hundred men? No, but I've always wanted to see Hong Kong. Look up! We've been doing this for a half hour. That looks a little too violent for me. What about On the Bridge? I hear it's great. You're late, Frederick. I'm sorry. And I've waited for you for so long. I got stuck in traffic. For two years? Very romantic. How about the horror movie, The Hand? I've just returned from the train station. Have you seen anything lately? No. We should go inside. Good idea. I don't want to see that terrible hand. Do you really think there's a hand out there that... Uh, oh, stop doing that right now, and the movie tickets are my treat. Deal! <laughs> I'm not buying you, Pop. Oh, come on. So, what do you want to do? Mm. Hey! Isn't that David Doolittle? The famous British actor? You're right, it is. Let's go say hi. No! What are you doing? Aren't you David Doolittle? Well, yes, I am. Wow, we really like your movies. Thank you. You're great. Thank you very much. Remember that movie where you were that dancer? What was that called? The Dancer? That's it. That was unforgettable. I love that one where you're the chef. What's that one called? Dr. Falk. <laughs> that was so funny! Unforgettable, man. Thank you. My favorite is the one where you're that robot <laughs> musician named... DD42. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just saw that movie again last week. That's a great movie. What's that called? Songs of Love. Yeah, man. That's unforgettable. <laughs> Thanks. You know what? I have to go soon, and I should finish my lunch. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. It was nice to meet you. Well, you too. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Isn't that what you say at the end of that movie where you're the pilot? Uh, pie in the sky. Yeah, that was unforgettable, man. Unforgettable. <laughs> Would you guys care to join me? <gasps> What's your favorite? Hello, top notch travel. Um, one moment, please. Hello, top notch. Uh, just a moment, please. <laughs> Top notch. Uh, hold, please. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Beatty. Cheryl? I'm afraid Cheryl's not here. You're not satisfied with your hotel. No bellman. I'm sorry. Cheryl will call you back. Okay. Goodbye. Hello? Uh, yes, hello, Mr. Rashid. Uh, Cheryl's not here. Can I take a message? You want a cheaper hotel in Budapest, a hotel 
without breakfast is okay. Very good. I'll give Cheryl your message. Goodbye. Hello. Oh, hi, Ms. Novak. She'll be right back. Is there a message? Can your cat stay with you at your hotel in Rio and you'd like to reserve a king-size bed? I'll ask her to check and call you. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, you're back. I have three messages for you. Let's see. Mrs. Beatty wants a cheaper cat. Mr. Rashid isn't satisfied with his breakfast. And Ms. Novak thinks the bellman needs a king-size bed. <laughs> They'll explain it all to you. What? I'd like to speak to a guest, Mrs. Beatty, in room 514. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Beatty. This is Cheryl from Top Notch. How's Los Angeles? Well, the hotel isn't very nice, dear. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you okay? You sound tired. My room is on the fifth floor. I had to walk up with my luggage. There's no bellman? No elevator? No. And I wanted a non-smoking room with a king-sized bed. And I requested that for you. Well, they gave me a smoking room with a twin-sized bed. It's all they have. I'd better check your reservation. What hotel are you at? The Candle Inn, I think. And another thing, they didn't make up the room. The towels are dirty. Did you call housekeeping? They're not answering. And there are all these students everywhere. I thought you said that movie stars stay at this hotel. Mrs. Beatty, your reservation is for the Chandler Inn. You're in the wrong hotel. The Chandler Inn is a much nicer hotel. Oh. Well, I'd better call a taxi. How will you get your bags to the front desk? I'm sure I can find a student to help. I'll say I'm a movie star. <laughs> I'll be fine. Okay. Good luck. Goodbye. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. لا تنسوا الاعجاب بالفيديو والاشتراك في القناه تشجيعا لنا لنستمر بنشر المزيد ان شاء الله